at the moment kind of caught up at the ferry terminal here. Look, there's actually a really cool park, uh, Fort, e Fort Casey, just right over here. So go check that out. So. <laughs> this is awesome. Where does this lead? I don't think I'm gonna make this one. No reservation. I was trying to make a reservation like a week ago, but everything just booked up. Yeah. I'm going. I made it. Perks of owning a tiny little truck. Let's go ahead and lean back and enjoy the ride. Yeah, I can't really do that in this thing. Then we have a chance to get some wood in town, some kind of scrunching up some stuff around here. It's slightly damp, but uh, not as bad as at one time. So, able to get something going here. Plus, uh, I have this little, I have this folder here, I'm using it as a fan to, to get it going here. So it's not too bad. Just trying to get a good cold base going right now. I have a bunch of these folders in my truck from work, so it makes a pretty good fan in a pinch. And it can burn it too, also in the pinch as well. So. <laughs> There we go. All right, got the K truck right here. So might scooter closer to the fire so I can use the bed as a bench. Trying to get this stuff off the ground. That'll be my, yeah. This stuff right here still looks pretty damp. I'm trying to get some stuff that's kind of poking out in the air there. First time camping at this spot. Well, I've been here before. Actually with the K truck too, I dropped, on one of my videos, I unloaded the T-Dub here and continued down the same forest road, but I only made it halfway through. Woo! Looks like I'm vaping. Hitting that blinker. But, uh... <laughs> but, um... Anyways, um... I only got half halfway through the forest roads, and I didn't really know where I was. And I'll be honest, I had to turn around because I had to poop really bad. So... <laughs> but now I got the ruckus and nothing but time tomorrow, so... See if I can make it to the ocean. <laughs> it's crazy how much the dew can just absolutely soak things at late at night. But um, moon's really coming up now. Not the worst camp I ever had. I've really slept in the rocks before, so better than nothing. All right, kind of overslept, but it's fine. Cause I'm already at the starting point here. So I just gotta unload the scooter, pack up my bags and go. Load out right now is, um, I got my drone. So I wanna take some cool shots. MRE I had floating around in my truck, threw that in there. Tire patch kit, uh, some basic tools right there, tire iron, in case if I get it flat. Never gotten flat on a scooter yet. Hopefully, I don't jinx myself. Because, um, that would suck. And up front, I just have an algae bottle. Just all my water and stuff. So, um, should be good. Ooh, man. Oh, <laughs> okay, uh, Starting to question my actions now. God, oh, these brakes suck. Oh! <laughs> this is a little bit of a paved road for the start, so we'll happily take that for now. Oil's good, tires are good, so 
Gas is filled up. We're gonna send her. Don't worry, it's not gonna be like this the entire time. There's, I probably got like maybe a mile left of road here, or paved road. Like handling this on the Kalex, like no sweat whatsoever. It's just not, it's just not a challenge. It's just so easy. But on the Ruckus, it's actually like a, a really good challenge. Again, fun too, so. It's, it's fun on, it's fun on either dual sport, but I feel like it's, this kind of riding is more fun on the little scooter. I was thinking about this last night and um, I think it's possible to make it from Whidbey Island to out here or Forks area via Ruckus, but you kind of have to time up, time it up with the traffic too. So you're gonna have to get in the very, very back of the ferry traffic. And in Port Townsend, you're good. It's 40 miles an hour. And once you get down like the Fat Smitties, you should be good. You might have to pull over a few times if we get a fast car pulling up behind you. But uh, as long as you just keep doing that, just the only stretch is from like, eh, like Chimicum. I know it's a weird town name. To um, Squim. That's the only part of the highway where it's not two lane. And it kind of—it's got a slight gray going uphill for a decent mile. Oh, that, that's the part that would—I feel like would really throw me for a trip. Hey, he's just grading the road. Thank you, sir, for making my ride good for 50 feet. I don't think he sees me, so I'm not gonna like race around him. Maybe he does. Maybe he does see me. He does not. Uh, we're going to get around them here. <laughs> they get big patches of gravel. Which is no problem as long as you slow down for it. Ugh. But uh, even in the good spots, like those little dips in the road too, I'm like basically almost bottoming out in the rear. Um, if you all know of stiffer shocks for the ruckus or like more off-road oriented shocks for the ruckus definitely let me know because I'm um, definitely gonna be on the interwebs later looking at that I'm actually glad I kept my warm stuff on I was burning up at the truck now I think I got to cut right I'm gonna pull up over here or I'm out of the way logging operation ahead road washout 19 miles pull up a uh, I like US I like US Topo maps too, so I already downloaded the backdrop here. This road drops off at the coastal town of Twin. There we go. Phone's charging, I got the wireless phone charger. Um I don't know the exact model of this charger itself, but honestly, I really really like it. So windscreen, this is a Tusk Universal windscreen. I think I got it on Rocky Mountain ATV. Um that hand guards are I think they're just like eBay specials. No, I got these on Rocky Mountain too. Uh, they're on clearance for 50 bucks. So the, I I like them, but uh this little LCD display kind of stays on with the bike running. The actual LCD doesn't draw too much power, I, I think, but if I don't ride the bike within three or four days, my battery would be like totally dead, so it's kind of annoying. But this, this bike's got Kickstarter too, so it's not that hard to kickstart. I'm supposed to stick to Forest Road 30 here, so that, that should cut all the way to Twin. Then from there, hop off on the 112, make my way to Nia Bay by scooter. So that's, yeah, it can be a long day of rucking for sure. I'm excited for this. I've been I've been wanting to do this for a while. Um, oopsie my I don't know my, my work life has just been like really taking over my personal life I just have my work life balance is just horribly off and I've just been in a crap mental state in the last two months or more it, like we've been getting shitted on at work back to back just like running around for heads cut off just always stressed out and uh finally kind of caught up with but it's just oh man this feels good just being out here, I know I'm going slow. Kind of no frills, really, but uh, ah, oh, this is 
that, that feels so good to be out here mentally, man. I've actually been to this point with the T-dub in the video, but I turned around because uh, I didn't know this area too well. And the main reason is I had to poop, so <laughs> I left my baby wipes at the truck. So now I'm continuing on where I left off and this is all new to me now. So feels good. Yeah. After that graded section of the road, um, it's all just this nice packed dirt. So cruising along pretty good, it's hitting 30 at times on the straightaways and yeah, we chilling. Man, I kind of screwed up. I I should have woken up earlier. Like I wanted to be in like Nia Bay around this time frame. It sucks when you're permanently on night check and I, I just don't have a regular sleeping schedule like everybody else does. You really want to make it the Cape Flattery on the ruck, so hopefully that we can do that. My stupid windscreen starting to pop loose already. Uh, let's see here. This little set screw, I guess, wasn't really on it. It's tight. I just can't push it back in, so. Oh boy. I knew there was gonna be some, some trouble somewhere down the line. Nothing crazy though. I don't have Allen keys on me, that's the thing. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to take it off of the truck. Um, all my Allen keys I had at the truck were American, not uh, metric, so I didn't want to strip out these little set screws. So I'm like, you know what, screw it, I'll, I'll chance it. And I kind of I kind of knew this was gonna happen. I kind of expected for this to happen, not gonna lie. But uh, I... I downloaded the backdrop of this area as a catch file and my maps too is just completely blank right now so maybe if I turn my phone into airplane mode it'll kind of swap over hopefully I don't know but uh oh my god whoa look at that hey I'm not sticking around for a lot longer this road is gonna come down within the next year or two if not sooner okay i'm glad i'm able to do this now <laughs> dude this is cool man like on the this is <laughs> i've been i've been wanting to do this i know oh, look at my maps are back thank god i've been wanting to do this i've been like kind of just staring at it oh i've just been staring at it on google maps i'm like i want to do this so bad but uh i just haven't had time lately but now i got a three-day weekend and kind of screwed it up a little bit too because I overslept but uh oh well I'm still having fun access to the maps how far am I to the ocean oh <laughs> we uh we a little ways out we're about halfway to be honest so. we should have enough daylight to get the Nia Bay the thing is too I gotta get back so I'm taking highways to get back I know you're thinking highways on a scooter, but they're very isolated highways out there, so not a lot of traffic. So, and I think the it's mostly like switchbacks or curves, or I think like from Twin to Nia Bay, it's just kind of like a bunch of switchbacks. I think it's only like 40 miles an hour too on pavement, so absolutely ideal on this thing. So no issues with the ruckus other than the windscreen, but that's aftermarket stuff. Oh, I smell the ocean. I smell that salty ocean air. So close to the ocean. Yeah. Oh. Is this 112? Yeah, it's 112. Okay, let's uh, reassemble my windscreen here. There we go. <laughs> Next stop, Nia Bay, hopefully. <laughs> right, we're on some... 
Yeah! <laughs> yes! Oh, man! I've been wanting to do this for so long, man. <laughs> this is sick. Come on, Ruck. We gotta at least break 20 going uphill. <laughs> oh. I ran out of a shoulder. Oh, no. Oh, we back on dirt. Yeah, this is, keeps getting better and better today. Oh, and I lost my windscreen again. Okay, that's going to be an ongoing theme, I guess. <laughs> oh, look at this view coming up. Oh, my gosh. That is cool. Okay, let's put pop my windscreen back in. There we go. We got a windscreen again. Yeah! I'm speeding now! <laughs> okay, maybe not. 112. Missing some pavement. <laughs> I'm fine of that. Oh! Oh, there goes my windscreen again. <laughs> Speed limit is 25. I'm actually technically speeding. I'm going to jail. Slow vehicles may use shoulder daylight hours only. Okay, good to know. Yeah, Washington has a weird law where you can drive on his shoulders. The ticket right goes to Nia Bay. That's where I want to go. That goes out to Cape Flattery, too. But, um... Beaches on both sides, all right. Yeah, Forks is to the left. Well, I'm gonna wait for that van, I'm slow. See. Yeah, Dodge Caravan's a lot faster than I am. <laughs> okay, I'll have to pull over probably a lot, but uh, traffic doesn't look too bad as of now. Coffee! That's happening. Okay, got my coffee. I should have asked for a stopper because I found out the hard way. Uh, your coffee turns into a grenade. Oh, they got they got fuel here. Um, I'll just fuel up in uh, uh, Nia Bay. There's a park. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, let's drink this coffee and walk around because my ass is seized up. Okay. <laughs> the straight here is a Juan de Fuca's straight, I'm pretty sure. And then straight across is Victoria Island. And then directly ahead, which is bland, that's the big boy water, the ocean. So, kind of see the tip of Nia Bay. Maybe. I don't know. Clam. I don't know. I can't pronounce that. Yeah, so where I was at. Sapo is where Forest Road 30 is. It's about a little east of there. That kind of cuts across the twin. That's not on the map. But now, I'm obviously there. And I gotta go to Nia Bay. Or I don't have to. I want to. After Nia Bay, take the same road 112 down. Then I'll take the 113 down and then cut south of Beaver Lake. There's little forest roads there. And that comes to the meetup spot where my K truck is. So I think we can do this. Perhaps I should have pooped at that little restroom. Ooh, it's cold on the water. It's uh, yes. <laughs> Excellent ruckus riding. This is this right here is why I bought one of these Saints man. Like ah, oh, this is right up the ruckus's alley. Just getting out on these back roads, just carving up the pavement. So I covered miles of beautiful coastal highway on the Juan de Fuca Strait, and it led me to Nia Bay, the last little town before Cape Flattery, the northwestmost point of the lower 48 of the United States. So unfortunately my microphone gave out in this segment, but 
it was just a really awesome time. I always see this chair on Instagram. Everybody's sitting in that. But uh, I've actually been out here before one other time. I was off the T-Dub, so it's not a bad little trail to get. It says it takes about 25 minutes, but for me, I walk fast. It takes me about 10 minutes, 15 minutes at most. Pretty cool stuff in here for sure. Just pulling up to the most northwest point in the lower 48 of the United States. Alright, just got back from Cape Flattery, so I might have had no mic for a decent while. I really hope that's not the case. Alright, I need food. I think in, um, I might go back to that breakwater bar over near uh, Kalama, whatever bay. I can't remember the town name. You know what? I've never been down this way, so, uh, Look at that little road there. Ooh, got food this way. Now I'm interested. Okay, maybe this is destiny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is sick. Oh man, I've been needing this. Just hit 1,800 miles on the ruck. I know it's nothing compared to some other people's rucks, but uh. man. Alright, this road heads down to the hatchery. My body's starting to cramp up. I'm six foot, 190 pounds on this little thing. Just hunched over all day. I'll uh, continue on for about a half mile or so. Um, I gotta, I want to get setting up camp in the daylight, so. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to be down here. 4 p.m. What time we at? Oh gosh. Okay, we're at the hatchery. You know what? I think I mistakenly went deep into the res. I don't think I'm allowed in the res. Right, I think I'm out of the tribal center. I think I'm. Oh gosh. Okay, yeah. I gotta walk down to the beach while I'm here, man. It'd be dumb if I didn't. Dude, this is so nice. <laughs> this thing's just covered in mud. <laughs> yep, this is my adventure bike. <laughs> Oh, okay. Let's, uh, I want to get setting up camp soon and chill. I just want to chill out at the river at my next camp spot, so hopefully, ooh, I'm able to get out there. On a little dirt road, too, that kind of runs straight into town, so happily we'll take that for sure. Uh, I'm really hoping this kind of connects back into Nia Bay, because, uh, I don't honestly know where this dumps out at so <laughs> I assume it does it looks like it does turn to pavement up here this is exactly what the ruckus is all about man now are we in town let's get lost on a ruck it's kind of hard to get lost in a little town in Nia Bay but all right we're at the general store oh, this is the school okay yeah see all right we're not lost anymore what a beautiful day to be riding a ruckus a little over a gallon of gas. 5.48. Ew. I'm going broke. <laughs> okay. Pretty sure this is B. 
Beaver Lake. Yep, Beaver Lake. Okay, other end of Beaver Lake, there's a forest road that cuts to where I need to go because I don't want to take the 101 to my truck because that would be murder. I to do a little bit of backtracking. Take this guy. Thank God there's no yellow gate. And then I think he hooked the first right, allegedly. Yeah, it should be first right because I don't want to go up. Right, left, right. Okay. So then that will drop me off on the forest road I started with. Ooh, there's some wood. Damn. If only I was on something bigger or I had the truck out here. Back in it on the slick stuff too. What a... Ooh. <laughs> Never been down this way. Here goes the windscreen. Okay. Poke that down there. Sun's starting to go down, so I want to get to my secondary camping spot. I don't want to camp at the same spot again. There's actually a really cool little place I like to go to a little south of here. It's a little south of Forks. Ugh. Hey, um, yep, tonight at the camp, I am going online and I'm gonna order a different rear shock for the thing. And then I'm gonna, ooh, I got a little window. We're going for it. Then I'm also going to order some springs up front too if they make them. They should. I don't see why not. Change out the fork oil too. Okay. Dude. I, yeah, I just sent my dad some pictures of their trip today. <laughs> and uh, he's like, why in hell are you doing that when you got real motorcycles? I'm like, he, he's just playing. But uh, there's just something about just being out here on a little bike, zipping along. It's just so fun, man. Oh! Oh! Man. Tell there's been a big windstorm back in here. Oh, man. I just feel very isolated right now. Like the first forest road I was on. I didn't feel like this. I just it was very flowy, but this actually feels like some 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 shit can pop go wrong back in here. A little big shift table right there. It's kind of interesting. Picking up an elevation too, a decent, a good bit. Um, was it really? Oh. It's a, I just had to tuck my head into that so it didn't get scratched up. Ooh. Definitely tell if someone hasn't traveled down here in a decent while. Okay, I think we can get around, yeah. I can get around that. <laughs> Anything bigger. I can get over that too. Just gotta take her slow. Oh my gosh, this is silly, man. I really hope I'm going the right way, too, because if I have to go down, it's I'm not going to be too happy with myself. Okay, this one here. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Ruck. I don't want to scratch y'all up. <laughs> this thing's a little tank. <laughs> Down tree. Oh boy. Let me check my map. I can I can physically just pull that out. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull out of the way here. I've been going to the gym, might as well use my my strength here. Heat! Yeah. I don't know about this. Through the branches there. Yeah, I can get for that now. This is it. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, well I'm stopped too. I'm gonna take my sunglasses off. Okay, that's a lot better. I can actually see now pretty well. Anything bigger than that, I might have to turn around. I don't know if I can move that one. 
Damn. Mm. I don't know. We'll see. I got a chainsaw. It's in the truck though. If I can lay it down flatter, I can just pick the ruckus up and over. I just can't pick it up, ruckus up this high. Let's go get this thing flat on the road. So unfortunately I bumped into my transmitter on my microphone and basically scrapped all audio for the rest of that day. So anyways, I managed to get over that down tree. I just had to get it flat on the ground. And the ruckus only weighs about 200 pounds, so he's picked the one end up and then picked the back end up over. And should be able to get over just about any obstacle for the most part. But continuing down the lane here, I came across another washout. And this one is so severe that there is no way I'm going to get around this. Not even my T-Dub can get around that. So, fortunately, I had to backtrack to the highway. It's not really the most ideal thing to be doing on a ruckus, but out here, these highways are very remote. And I'm able to do it as long as there's no traffic. Oh, man. <laughs> some heat. Just got some supplies. Go camping. Gotta gather up some wood. Try your little fire going. I just plopped my chair in here, so that's already set up. Got set up in record time here. Just realized too, I think I left my lighter at my old camp by accident. I can pick it up tomorrow on the way back home. I just remembered some MREs have matches in them from previous MREs that I ate in. I've been trying my uh, cigarette lighter in the cab, but uh, I just can't get anything. These have matches. Yes! <laughs> we got matches. <laughs> oh my. And I got food. Yeah! <laughs> yes! First one? Ooh! First light! I usually go for half the pack before I get a light. Oh, we got. I'm saying, let's throw the whole thing in there. Screw it. I don't really need napkins, but I need something to burn. I'm keeping these in the truck, by the way. First light, too. These, these matches suck, too. A nice day on the river. Yeah, this camp spot is a lot better than what I had last night, or the previous night, that's what I meant. The water crossing I did last night was super, super sketch. Honestly, probably shouldn't have done it. But uh, I gotta get over it again, so to get back home. Winter down kind of day nice out right now yeah so last night I did this really sketchy water crossing and I'm gonna have to do it again so not looking forward to that all right I'm gonna put the left tire in that high spot there keep her somewhat level because yeah the ruckus is just on the center stand right now and ooh, how did I get out of here you gotta cut right over there. That's what it's looking like. I'm gonna put her in ultra low. If I got it, I'm gonna use it. <laughs> oh, something, something 
what's in the room back there. Hopefully we're all good. Okay, from here I can go to first gear again. <laughs> just, just, just driving one of these things, man. It's just even if you're just in regular traffic, you just got a stupid grin on your face. Like <laughs> my, my my face starts hurting when I'm driving one of these things. This is so stupid, but awesome. All right, <laughs> it's gonna be a little, a little sketch. Stay left. Okay, let's get my camera. <laughs> 